Okay, so in our video series of dermatology crash course, in this video, we'll be talking about erythema nodosum. We have a case here, a 42-year-old lady who was diagnosed with SLE seven years back presents to you with the chief complaint of red painful lesions over the shins. This is a picture of those lesions over the shins. Now, if you look at this case, this patient is a middle aged female with lesions that are symmetrical, meaning on both legs and that are painful. And that patient also has a secondary condition like SLE. This patient is a case of SLE who is presenting to you with symmetrical lesions over the shins. And patient is a middle aged female. All these things point out toward the diagnosis of erythema nodosum. Since erythema nodosum is a condition that is mostly found secondary to other diseases like SLD, secondary to other autoimmune diseases. And those autoimmune diseases are more common in middle-aged females. So this patient is a case of erythema nodosum. Whenever a patient presents to you with erythema nodosum, it's not important that patient is having erythema nodosum. What's important is that you search out the cause of erythema nodosum, like what is the condition behind it? What is the secondary condition in the patient that is manifesting itself in the form of erythema nodosum? So the causes of erythema nodosum can be simply remembered by the mnemonic nodosum. No, no cause found in 60% of cases, you are unable to find the secondary cause of erythema nodosum. D for drugs, antibiotics like sulfonamides, amoxicillin can cause it. Oral contraceptives can cause erythema nodosum. Sarcoidosis, SLE are associated with erythema nodosum. Ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease can cause erythema nodosum. Microbes like recent streptococcal infection is one of the most important causes of erythema nodosum. Infections like TB, syphilis can cause erythema nodosum. So erythema nodosum is a condition that is secondary to many other underlying diseases. So it's important that you look for the cause of erythema nodosum, that what is the secondary condition hidden in the patients. Erythema nodosum is a self-limiting disease. But for the treatment of erythema nodosum, you have to treat the underlying disease process that is causing erythema nodosum. It is, uh, pain can be controlled by analgesics and NSAIDs. Potassium iodide can be used for the lesions. Steroids are also used for the treatment of erythema nodosum. In summary, erythema nodosum is mainly present in middle-aged females in which autoimmune diseases are very common. It is usually secondary to many other diseases. So look for the cause, look for the secondary disease process. They are usually symmetrical and painful, present on the shins. These are all the causes of erythema nodosum, recent strep infection being one of the very important ones. Diagnosis is clinical, no need for biopsy. Treatment is, is self-limiting disease, but analgesics, potassium iodide, and steroids can be used for the treatment. So this was erythema nodosum. If you like this video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on dermatology crash course. Thank you very much.